All right, this is how you make crispy skin salmon, all right? Now, here's your salmon. I already add some oil, olive oil, on there. And here I have my seasoning. For today's recipe, I'm making Cajun blackening salmon. Here is my seasoning right here, which I will insert a clip of all the seasoning that's in here and the measurement as well. Make sure you add some olive oil on here. Then we're going to add the seasoning, all right? The seasoning need to stick. That's why we add the oil on there. So I like to season my salmon all over, okay? Not just this side. I like to flip it over and get some flavor on this side as well, which is the crispy skin that most people like. I know I do. I love, love, love that part of the salmon when it's nice and golden, brown and crispy. So once you've done season this, just like that, once you're done seasoning it, time to cook it. All right, now what you're going to do is add oil to the skillet, just like that, about two tablespoons enough for it to kind of fry-ish but not really you don't want it to swim in the oil so about two tablespoons you're going to have your skillet to a medium high temperature okay you want it to be nice and hot so you can achieve that crispy skin salmon all right now of course you can use butter if you like but for today's recipe, I'm using olive oil. Now we're going to place the salmon on here, skin down, okay? You hear that sizzle? Oh, yes. And it smells so good, guys. Oh my God. Because I do have some fresh thyme on there. I can smell it, it smells so beautiful right now you can only if you guys can smell the aroma so good now we're going to flip it over all right flip it over one time do not flip it over too early and that's how you achieve crispy skin salmon And that's how you achieve crispy skin salmon. All right, guys? Hope you enjoy the recipe. Be sure to give it a like. Comment down below. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.